The Honda CT125 Trail is an awesome bike. And if you're even somewhat considering getting it, please feel free to ignore literally everything I'm about to say. Because um, this bike is fantastic. It looks great. It rides great. Um, with a few caveats. And if, if you're considering this bike, just, just go for it. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. But there are a few things that are driving me absolutely insane. Um, some, maybe it's a pet peeve, maybe just me, about this. Um, and I, I just got to get them out of my chest. If I, don't, if I don't get them out of my head, um, I can hear like the voices in my head, like the things I want to say about this to drive me nuts. And if I don't put this into a video, I'm going to lose it. Because um, there's a few things about this bike that are, are they just, you know, it just comes with the package. I get it. it it's, um, I knew this going in, but now that I have it, they're, they're really annoying. <laughs> They're driving me nuts about it, um, and I'm so satisfied with it that these few little things are, are, are annoying me enough as I drive this that um, I, I want to talk about it just to kind of to get the list out of my head and, in, and into into the existence of, of <laughs> out, just out of me. Um, so the first thing about this bike that um, you notice right away once you've started you know, getting through breaking it in and it's the top of my list of things that are driving me nuts with it um is the wind the wind is so bad on this it's it i mean yeah again i knew it going in the way this where this seat is where it's positioned you're sitting so upright on it um and you just you just eat the wind um also unlike with the super cub the super cub has like a, a shield that comes out here there's none of that um yet yeah, um legs not so much a problem um, on this in terms of getting hit by the wind unless it's cold out. I mean, it's cold, it does matter. I, I wear like, I wear like uh, shields over my knee. Um, that's like a windbreaker when I ride this thing when it's cold. But um, man, do, do you eat it in the chest? I mean, the, the wind, it just, because you're sitting so upright here, the wind just goes straight here and you get you get beat up. You're going over, over 40, 45 miles per hour. Forget about it. You're just, you're getting pounded. And um, it's fine. The bike's steady. Um, it's cool in the summer, you don't, you don't, it doesn't matter that much, right? It, it almost feels good. Um, but you feel it. You really, it really you get knocked around. Um, the bike itself is, um, actually it's a different complaint. The bike itself is, is heavy to some, so, you know, you're, you're, you're stable. You're good. The, the, your wind's not going to knock you off of it, but, um, you feel it, man. It just, you're just getting hit you're getting straight on, you know, straight in your chest. Now, um, I see a lot of people are buying uh, windshields for this. I am, I'm gonna have to buy a windshield for this. Um, I'll get the, the Zeta windshield, the large one, seems to be the, the, the golden option. So I'm gonna get that. Um, but for a bike that's, you know, of the mini motos, it's on the expensive side, I, it really would be nice if this just came with a windshield because I'm gonna have to, now I have to spend 200 bucks, you know, to get with the windshield plus the shipping, to get it from Japan, to get, to get the good one. Um, and it sounds like it's going to fix it because it's going to come right here. And it's going to it's going to block that. Um, but the bike's too expensive to to not have that. I, I just think in, this thing needs to have a windshield come come standard. Um, Honda should just go go to Zeta and um, say, listen, just be our parts supplier and, and and just and make a standard. It's it's just it's too it's too much. It's almost it's close enough to being a safety issue that it should come standard with the windshield. Um, Honda, please, if you're listening to this, just make it standard. Or, or you know, just raise. If you're gonna raise the price in this a uh, hundred bucks every year, can we just have the windshield go to Zeta in Japan and and just say, listen, supply it, just make it standard, because um, it it just it's really annoying. Um, and then I kind of touched upon it in this. I think this bike is too heavy uh, for for trail. It, it it feels like it's it's just fifteen pounds too heavy. It's again, it's fine. It, it, maybe it, it's also probably by design, but I, I just think it's a little too much. It just needs it needs to lose fifteen pounds so it, you can so you can snap it a little bit more. I find it especially because here in, in, in suburban driving, um, again, it's a trail. It's not made for suburbia. It's made for the, the trail. Um, but you know, you have to drive to get to the trail, and I, if the in the slow speeds. When you're in first, especially in first gear, second gear, as you're, you're going through the gears, I, I just, I don't like how heavy it feels. It, it, 
it, it again it, it it's not unsafe but it feels unsafe and I, I i just i don't like it i want to be able to evade at least it's more maybe it's more psychological than anything else because because you can it's it, it's not a real problem but but it's enough to, to annoy me um i just i want this thing to be 15 pounds lighter i don't know where you take it from but but it needs to be 15 pounds lighter um because that would just make give that little bit of extra ability to to dodge stuff would be nice um yeah, and um, another, you know, again, this is the, you're, you're getting this when you get into it, the bias. But um, I, this, oh, this is my third complaint. I know it's the Super Cub seat. I knew when I was going in, but now that I have it, it's really annoying not to be able to. I'm gonna try to do this. There's nothing here. There's nothing to put your knee against on this. And if 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 you like to ride a motorcycle and you like, you know, you like to to have your body be one with. The motorcycle, a big part of that is, 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 is hugging, right? Is hugging with your leg. And there's nothing here. So when you're, when you're sitting on it, you know, you're, you're riding with it. You're, you're not, you're, you, there's nothing here. You can't, there's not, you can't juke with it. There's no juking. You, you, you get, <laughs> you can't, there's nothing here. Nothing, there's nothing to push against. Um, which means when you're in slow traffic, um, or, or, or there's, you know, there's a lot of cars you, you can get through. Um, you can't, you can't use that part of your body to, to be nimble. Um, again, comes to the territory. I knew going in. It's not a knock on the bike. Um, but you know, you, you get the bike and you're really, you're really driving it and you notice it. See, there's nothing there. Um, and, uh, it just, it's, it's psychological. It, it annoys me. Um, oh, I'm something at fourth. This is my fourth complaint. It's my fourth complaint. Um, the, nothing wrong with the gears. The, what I wish was the case, I wish this was here. This, this unit, the whole, the, the foot, uh, gear changer. I wish it was not here. I wish it was right here. And the reason is because when, and it's a, it's a, it goes into the next complaint with this seat. The seat itself is comfortable. This seat itself is comfortable i find i know and a lot of folks i like to when, once i settle in get moving i, I kind of like to scooch back I like, I like to have my bum be back a little bit here and um this seat would be fine as is but the problem is because of where these are it's just it's back just enough that excuse me, it's hard to tell because i have this like fishbowl but i want i want to be here kind of want to be up just a little bit more but to work this I'm, I'm back a little bit so I'm my legs in a little bit in this way and um, again this isn't that big a complaint but as a result of this so this is back here so my legs like this and you know you want you want your leg to be straight to be most comfortable and um, I know some of the comments are gonna say just buy a scooter <laughs> <laughs> right um but um so my legs like this back and forth back and forth and um what i find is just naturally as i'm doing this as i'm working the gears i i start to slide back and then i i i'm i'm still comfortable the seat's still comfortable and then when i feel i feel something uncomfortable you know what it is my and i'm not a big guy what happens is i i wind up as i'm working these I'm sitting back here. This itself is comfortable. Then what happens is I'm kind of sitting on the edge of this, and the back of my 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 derriere, my rear, it's it's kind of touching, not touching this bar, and um, it's annoying. It's just I don't know. It's the, ugh, it's annoying me. I don't like it. I don't like touching this. Um, and obviously I want this rack. It's one of the reasons I got the bike, right? I, I want this. This is awesome. I can they can put stuff on it, but. This this is uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. It's just, I hate tapping this thing. It's really. It's like I wish the seat. The seat itself is fine. Like if it, if it had like I don't know how to say it. Like if it can't. I, don't know, I want like a wall or something. Um. Yeah, I want. Uh, yeah, they could have like a wall. Something that came came up like this. Um, that kind of just went up over, so I could get my hand under, but like I just wouldn't touch this. It's like I just wish this this whole seat unit. I wish this was up a little bit. Either this was a little bit further forward, um, you know what I'm saying? Like this is more like 
just came out a little, the whole thing was shifted forward or this was just a little bit longer it had like something like don't touch this it would it would make the bike immensely i don't know or maybe it would make it better i don't, I don't know I, I feel like it would but who knows i mean that 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 kind of is what it is um my fifth complaint is I, i've had it only for a little bit i i don't i feel like i'm maybe it's just the way i'm riding it kind of on and off you know suburban on and off highway for a little bit back to local roads um in some traffic or i'm kind of stuck i don't know if i'm getting the, the mileage this thing this thing you know it claims god tier uh, 150 miles per gallon it's good i'm not i'm not going back to the honda navi this is the mileage on this is way better there's no question there i don't know if i'm getting that um i need to i need to ride it more because i need to, i need to do a few few fill-ups to get a fair call on that but it, i don't i'm not seeing me getting 150 um i think i'm getting more like 110 maybe um but I, we'll, we'll see I, I gotta follow up on that um it's a good looking bike i love this rack this rack makes life easy whether you're just taking your backpack off you can just strap the backpack down you don't have to wear it on your back um you can put a crate on it you can put other stuff on it you got if you have you know straps of any type you can put anything on this um the one thing not 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 thinking of it nothing that six six complaint why does it not come with a standard heat shield come on japan gets it stop cheaping out on this stuff i mean you honda raises the price 100 bucks every year for what inflation whatever whatever the reason magical reason is give us something you can't give me the piece of plastic that covers that and now i got to go buy that if i theoretically want to have passenger and also foot pegs not standard come on like it's plastic you can't give me plastic you can give me the plastic give me the same cheapo ones as the, the honda navi i don't care give me come on it's too much money to not have some of this stuff standard it's a great bike i don't know i, I why don't 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 nickel and dime us if you're gonna raise this price of this thing a hundred bucks every year new colors are cool this bike definitely looks i think this bike was made to be yellow i think i'm right it, it, this this yellow is just awesome um it's almost like the cat like when you were a little kid and you see like the caterpillar construction machines like that is a nice yellow. this is the nicest yellow in the world um it looks better in person I, I thought i was afraid it might not be good this yellow is awesome but um but 100 bucks a year to change the color no 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 like get, come on it's, this thing's gone it's been out for what four or five years now this 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 bike now they did in the engine to get updated i have the newest the newer the 2023 2024 engine i have that um but come on you can't you can't give us the, the heat shield here and the passenger pegs i don't know that's that's a little weak uh but it's not just limited to this bike that's honda on, on every bike um you know and I'm, the, I'm just talking about the things that are sticking out to me that are that are annoying me um again i said at the beginning of the video that's not a reason not to get this bike if you're considering this bike get the bike you're going to be satisfied i'm satisfied i'm not going back um this is a step up but it could be even better with a few tweaks that should that i think should be standard um and i know some of these complaints i read some articles um in japanese about um that they, in japan you have the uh not the super cub you have the uh the one the 110 uh i'm forgetting the name what they call it there um and a lot of people are saying that the actual best of all the, the cub bikes and it's called the hunter cub in japan you have the super cub and then you have this is the trail 125 the, the hunter cub and then there's the this 110 the 110 honda um 110 cc's and people say that that, that one is actually it's lighter it has like a little smaller rack on the back and um, people say that that one is actually faster than this one and that it gets equivalent mileage and that it's it it um it handles the best and because this thing it's a little it's a little heavy you know it feels like it you know it feels like when you're riding this it feels great but it feels like somebody you know there's nothing on this lug track it feels like somebody added a stack like you know here there's a brick here see this thing it feels like somebody took took five of these just five put five maybe or maybe three three or four they put three or four and there's three or four of these somewhere in here <laughs> extra that that if i could find them i could take them out that sort of feels a little some sometimes at low speeds 
That's what it feels like on this bike. Um, so that's my rants, and I gotta stop talking because somebody is cutting wood next door, um, which is cool. Um, great engine, uh, gears are fine, um, works, it's all smooth, starts right up. This thing should come with a, God, okay, of course they're doing some of this. Um, it should come with a gear change indicator, it doesn't, but I can live with it. Um, it's geared for the trail. So, um, it is, I knew this when I was going in, because the lower gears are really annoying, um, because you have to constantly, in, in suburban driving, you have to constantly shift up real quick, and then from 25 to, like, 65 is fourth gear. Um, it is what it is, but it's more annoying than I thought. Um, those are my thoughts on this, and I'm not going to torture everyone because someone's cutting wood next door, but, um, if you're considering the bike, you won't regret it but you may be annoyed by one of these few things I touched upon. So um, now I got off my chest and into your brain. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but consider it, think about it. Um, there are not reasons not to get it, but the reasons you might not be fully satisfied. Um, there are, I know for me, there are at least reasons that I'm gonna have to spend more money on this to get a windshield, um, which apparently really helps, but uh, it is what it is. Um, the bike's so great. I just want it to be, I want it to be better. And I don't, I don't want to have to pay to fix little stuff like that, um, through accessories. 